Alright. Um, what's shaped you? What's influenced you considerably? What's shaped me? Yes. What's shaped me? I'm sure there's been a lot of that. <laughs> Here we'll cut to a wolf howling at the moon. <laughs> <laughs> um, what shaped me? Influences. You know, in the field of art and music, people talk about their influences, you know, are they influenced by a certain style of art or, you know, in music, um, you know, were you influenced by Page or Clapton or Beck or whoever? Um, that's interesting. You know, f for me personally, I think the first thing that got me into liking electric guitar was I heard Kiss's I Was Made For Loving You and I thought, that's a really nice sound. And, uh, yeah, it turns out. I don't know if anyone really knows who was actually playing that, but uh, you know. But for a time there, I was interested in um, in the way Ace Freely played, and then I looked at his influences and went back from him, um, you know, to and, and listened to a bit of Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin, and listened to a bit of uh, a, a bit of Jeff Beck. Eric Clapton, I didn't quite get into. Eric Clapton wasn't quite quirky enough for me, I don't think, but. Um, Anyway, so they're my influences um, guitar-wise. And, you know, no one, people don't have to be perfect to be your influence. The important thing is how they affect you and what they bring out in you. You know, I don't know that I'd take a liver, uh, you know, a liver transplant from Ace Freely, or I, I don't know that I'd have Jimmy Page teach at Sunday school. Probably not. Um, but, uh, <laughs> but, you know, talking about influences professionally, I think uh, um, accountants have to look beyond, a long way beyond the profession of accounting for inspiration. Uh, I'm interested in, in how lawyers think. I'm interested in how financial planners think. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm interested in how consulting firms think about things, how they present ideas to clients. There are aspects to take from their thinking and their way of business into... into absolutely, business. absolutely. It's all about how do you convey a concept because a lot of this stuff is is common, isn't it? You know, how do you deliver something that's complex to, to a client so a client can make a decision about it? That's important yeah. how you communicate that. Uh, you know, you can give a client a page of numbers and um, and I think that's just going to anaesthetise them. But you could give them that information in a different format. Uh, you know, the poor client, they've come to you, they've come to you the expert, and, and you're using jargon and you're throwing lots of numbers with them and they're just trying to keep up and they're trying to figure out, you know, if, if you understand their question, they've just got so much turbulence happening in their head. So I think it's an important part for a professional to 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 think about how they communicate back to the client and and to allow the client plenty of room to 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 feel comfortable yeah. and to take the time they need to to get their head around an issue and to gauge the level of, of understanding and, and knowledge in this kind of uh, profession I guess you know how much they understand about accounting and their business and the tax side of things and sure. Sure. Uh, part of it's about pace. You know, we all move at different different paces and some clients will get certain things quickly and other things not so quickly. And each client's different. Yeah, of course.